Hello, good morning viewers. I've wanted to show you how to solve a system of linear equations using matrices. But I believe it is necessary that we should discuss about two important properties of an identity matrix first. Number one, multiplying a matrix by an identity matrix will not change that matrix. It will remain the same. Whether pre-multiplication or post-multiplication. Number two, Multiplying a matrix by its inverse will result to an identity matrix. Suppose we have a matrix A, which is pre-multiplied by an identity matrix. You know, an identity matrix is that type of matrix in which the leading diagonals are equal to one and all other elements remain zero. This will not change this matrix A. It will remain the same. Whether post-multiplication, suppose we have an identity multiplying a matrix A, it will result to the same matrix A. This is not always equal to this. This is why I decide to separate them. This can only be equal to this under a condition. If and only if they are all of the same dimension. AI equal to IA must be equal to A if and only if they are of the same dimension. The same. You know you can only multiply matrices under a condition. The first matrix, the number of rows there must be equal to the number of columns in the other matrix. This is why this is not always true. It is only true under this condition. So number two, if we have a matrix B, multiplying this matrix by its inverse, which is the same thing as B inverse multiplied by B again, this will result to an identity matrix. We are going to test for each of these. But for simplicity, we are going to use two by two matrix. So let me start. Suppose we have a matrix A, that has these entries, 4, 3, 3, 2, and an identity, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is an identity matrix. You know, 1 is also an identity under multiplication. This is why whenever you multiply a number by 1, it will not change. The same thing here in matrices, multiplying a matrix by an identity matrix will not change it. So, we want to first of all test for this. A multiplied by I. A, we have 4, 3, 3, 2. And I, we have 1, 0, 0, 1. We are going to multiply them together. To obtain the first row, first column element, we are going to take the first row here and multiply it by the first column there. So 4 times 1 is 4. You add it to 3 times 0, which is 0. You move on. Take the first row, multiply by the second column. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 3 times 1 is 3. Moving down, we have 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 times 0 is 0. Then the last row, last column, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 times 1 is 2. Let's simplify this. 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. 0 plus 2 is 2. So this is AI. But if you observe, it is exactly equal to E. So this is equal to A. E. This shows that multiplying a matrix A by an identity matrix will not change the matrix A. This is pre-multiplication. Let us test for post-multiplication to see whether it is the same. Uh, we want to see IA. IA will be 1, 0, 0, 1 multiplied by uh, 4, 3, 
this is equal to 1 times 4 is 4 0 times 3 is 0 1 times 3 is 3 0 times 2 is 0 moving down we have 0 times 4 is 0 1 times 3 is 3 the last one 0 times 3 is 0 plus 1 times 2 is 2 let's simplify this is 4 this is 3 this is 3 this is 2 nothing change therefore we have ai here or ia to say it's the same thing as a because this is exactly equal to our first matrix a this is true so now let us confirm the other one multiplying a matrix by its inverse will give us an identity matrix so suppose we have this matrix a first of all we want to find a inverse because we, in the end we are going to multiply a inverse by the initial matrix a and you know a inverse can be obtained by taking one over the determinant of the matrix a multiplied by the adjoint of this matrix a so we are going to find two things here first of all let us find the determinant the determinant can be obtained by multiplying this by this which is 4 multiplied by 2 then you subtract you multiply the other diagonal 3 multiplied by 3 this is 8 this is 9 8 minus 9 is equal to negative 1 therefore the determinant of this matrix A is negative 1 so now let us go ahead and find the adjoint of this matrix A I'm going to follow a shortcut because I have shown you how to find the adjoint of a matrix so adjoint of this matrix A will be equal to we are going to swap these diagonals 2 and 4 then the remaining diagonals we are going to multiply them by negative 1 so this is uh, the adjoint of this matrix A then to apply this we have A inverse to be equal to 1 over the determinant and the determinant is negative 1 then multiply by the adjoint which we have here as 2, negative 3, negative 3, and 4. 1 over negative 1 is still negative 1. Then we are going to use this negative 1 as a scalar to multiply each of these entries. So the sign will change. So in the end, our A inverse is equal to negative 2, positive 3, positive 3 uh, negative 4 so what we are going to do next is to multiply a inverse by a to see whether we are going to obtain an identity matrix or not so a multiplied by a inverse is the same thing as 4 3 3 2 then multiply by the other matrix which we have as negative 2 3 3 negative 4 this is equal to we are going to take the first row here and multiply it by the first column 4 times negative uh, 2 is negative 8 we add it to 3 times 3 is 9 they will move on 4 times 3 is 12 we add it to 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 so it will overpower this we have negative 12 here coming down we have 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 we add it to 2 times 3 is uh, is 6 moving on we have 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 times this is negative 8 it will change this to negative so we have negative 8 here now let us simplify negative 8 plus 9 is 1 12 minus 12 is 0 negative 6 plus 6 is 0 
9 minus 8 is 1 and hence this is a multiplied by a inverse which is exactly equal to i because this is an identity matrix it means that whenever you multiply a matrix by its inverse it will going to result to an identity matrix and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day